If you want to know how to make a clean looking tutorial video involving a screen capture, this video is for you. Three, two, one. Here we go! Hi and welcome or welcome back to DIY Film with Merle Becker, the channel where I help you make better videos. As always, stick around to the end of the video for today's bonus filmmaking tip. All right, let's get to it. So you're a creator who wants to show your audience how to do something on your computer, or maybe you're a manager with a team of employees who need to know how to do something on the computer. And you wanna make a tutorial video showing everyone how to do it but you want it to look cleaner and more polished than a video where you just record yourself doing a screen capture on the fly. You don't want it to have miscellaneous information and you don't want it to take forever to get to the point because this video is gonna live forever on your channel or your company website. Well, you're in the right place. Let me start out by saying that there's a variety of ways to do this and several different kinds of software that'll accomplish this as well. But in this video, I'm gonna go through the method and the software that I think is the best and that produces the cleanest, most direct tutorial video with no mistakes. So the two programs I use are Vimeo for the screen capture and Adobe Premiere for the editing. Additionally, you'll need some sort of device to record your audio. For the cleanest audio possible, I recommend using an external microphone, not the computer or the camera microphone. This means using a microphone that's hooked up to your computer or your camera, or you can use a standalone recorder, but more about that in a minute. All right, so let's go. Step one, write a script. That's right, write it down. Don't wing it. Because you know what happens when you wing it? You end up saying um and ah a lot and you repeat yourself, like saying the same thing over and over again, as in making the same point several times. Or you might leave something out. And on top of it, without a script, you're more likely to sound uneasy and unsure of yourself. And when these things happen, you'll spend tons of time in the edit taking out the ums and the ahs and re-recording the stuff you left out. And in the end, you'll end up spending more time editing than you would have if you had just sat down and written a script in the beginning. And it'll end up looking sloppier. So write a script. To do this, do the tutorial on your computer. And as you do, write down the steps line by line in a script. I find that it's easier to write one line at a time rather than a big chunky paragraph. It's just easier to read it this way. So go through each and every step and take the time to explain what you're doing and give a reason why you're doing it if that's helpful to your audience. Add an introduction at the top saying, today I'm gonna to teach you how to do such and such, and a conclusion at the end saying, so that's how you do such and such. Lastly, go over your script several times before you record it. Practice reading it aloud, and make revisions while you do this until it flows nicely. And by the end, you should sound natural and comfortable reading your perfectly polished script. Step two, record yourself reading your script. Now that you have your final script and you've practiced reading it aloud, it's time to record. You can either record with a microphone connected directly to your camera, or you can use a recording device like a Zoom recorder. I like to use this little portable Zoom H1 recorder which records to a memory card. It costs a little over 100 bucks and I'll leave a link to it in the description. Before you record the whole thing though, do a quick test to make sure it's recording properly and that your levels are falling where they should be. Not in the red, not too low. Then record your script. Start from the top and keep reading until you mess up. And when you mess up, stop the recorder and pick up from where you made the mistake. And when you're done, always record what is called a safety take. A safety is basically one last additional run through that will provide you with at least one other option to choose from while you're editing. Step three, edit together your audio. Now, before you do your screen capture, bring your audio into Premiere or the editing software of your choice. I like to use Adobe Premiere because it's very user-friendly and it works well with the other programs in the Adobe Creative Cloud like Photoshop and After Effects, and it's generally used in both the professional and the personal world. So bring the audio into Premiere and edit your audio together choosing all of your best takes and put little pauses where you think you'll need them. This edit is just a rough cut that you'll use for your screen capture. You'll end up adjusting it eventually. 
Then upload your rough cut to your Vimeo or your YouTube channel and set the video preferences to private so your audience doesn't stumble upon your unfinished work. Once you've done that, you're ready for your screen capture. Step four, do your screen capture. So now that the rough cut of your audio is edited together and uploaded as a private video on your Vimeo or your YouTube channel, you're going to play it back on another device while you do your screen capture. The reason I use another device is that it's just easier to stop and start the rough audio if I want to go back and do something again. Now, others may like different screen capture software better, but I prefer Vimeo. Vimeo is free at the time of the making of this video, and it's easy to use. So first, if you don't have a Vimeo account, you'll need to create one. Then click on New Video and Screen Recording. Get the tab ready that you're going to be using for your tutorial. Get your phone ready with your soundtrack loaded. Then hit play on the phone, record on Vimeo, and go through your tutorial on your computer screen. When you mess up, hit stop on the Vimeo record and on your audio track, and then pick up from where you messed up. Once you have your screen capture done, you're ready for the last step, which is step five, edit everything together. So Vimeo stores all of your screen captures in a folder called recordings. You'll want to download each take now. Make sure you download the highest resolution recording available. My sequence settings in Premiere are 4K Ultra HD, so that's what I'm going to choose here. The reason you want the highest resolution version is because you want the ability to zoom into sections to show your viewer what you're doing. And if it's low resolution, it's going to get blurry when you zoom in. And in general, you always want to be working with the highest quality video available to you. Once all your screen caps are downloaded, bring them into Premiere. And now simply lay the video on top of your audio and adjust as necessary. I generally use the audio for my screen caps as a guide for where to place the video. You may need to break apart the audio in parts or tighten things up, and sometimes you might have to add a frame hold to give the viewer more time to register something. But in the end, you'll have a tidy, professional looking tutorial that's ready for the masses. All right, so that's it. Let's do that tip quickly. Screenwriters don't do their work in one day for a good reason, and neither should you. The reason is, sometimes a pair of fresh eyes makes it blatantly obvious that something is either working well or should be left on the cutting room floor. So when you're writing your script, try to leave a day or two in between the time you write it and the time you record it. I can't tell you how many times I've woken up and looked at the script I wrote the day before and said, what the hey was I thinking? Like that line, for example. I wrote that yesterday, and when I saw it this morning, I was like, what the hey? People don't say that. And then I said, what the hey? I'll leave it in there and use it as an example. So give yourself some time to come back and look at your script with fresh eyes, because most of the time, your fresh eyes know best. Alrighty, what the hey? I think that gives you enough to think about for today. And as always, if you found any of this helpful, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell so you know when the next one is posted. And I will catch you next time.